Welcome to Mimeo training. If you're like me, you might not know what an interactive whiteboard is. So this is just a quick demo to give you an idea of how to set it up. There will be more instructions posted on Class Reach. There's quick little one, two, three, four, five steps that make it super easy. But basically what the Mimeo system is, is creating an interactive whiteboard. So you're gonna connect your projector to your computer. It's gonna project on the screen. And then we're gonna use this little handy dandy thing with this pen that makes uh, the whiteboard interactive. So you can do the activities on the whiteboard. So here is the quick setup. First, you have to download the software for Mimeo onto your computer. So you're going to need to go to Vimeo.com slash software and it will prompt you through that. And that's a fairly straightforward process. If you have any questions, you can uh, message me and ask me about that. It will pull up three things on your laptop um, computer uh, screen. It will show Mimeo Studio. Gradebook, Mimeo Studio Notebook, and Mimeo Studio Tools. So once you're there, then you're going to go to the teacher workroom and check out a projector and a Mimeo. And both of these boxes, there's five projectors available and there are six Mimeos available. So we don't quite right now have enough. We're hoping to get another projector so we have an exact match. But there will be a clipboard with a sign out so you can sign out and um, that way if somebody else needs it, they know uh, who to try to get it from. Um, it is in the teacher workroom in the sliding drawers underneath the mailboxes. So that's where you'll go to look, um, look for those. Um, and if you, need, if you know you're going to need them, you can check them out ahead um, or maybe make a little note on there if you want to reserve them. Um, so any way you want to work with that sign out sheet is fine. That way you can guarantee you have it. Um, what is nice about the software is that once you've loaded it, you can play with it at home and have it all set up so that um, you've practiced with whatever lessons you want to use on it um, so that when you get it hooked up here, you've already practiced it at home. So that's why we're asking you to have it on your own personal computer rather than having it linked with a school computer that kind of floats with um, all of this together. Okay, so setting up the projector, you're going to pull out of the box these two things. This, this might be in there. You don't need this, so just ignore that and keep that in the box. All of them are labeled projector 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so uh, make sure all the things stay with the projector and make sure all the cords get back in the box. Many of you may have used the projector before. I have not, so here's how you do it. Um, if you have a more current laptop, you may need to get an adapter. This would not go into my laptop, so I had to get one of these little Dell things that adapts it. So just know um, whatever technology you have, you may, because these are old, the projectors are older, if you have a newer model computer, you may need to get an adapter. So then this, this part right here goes into the computer. And so that plugs in there. And then this part goes in the back of the uh, projector. And you get it screwed in. And then that is what makes it project. Obviously, projectors are not new technology. But let's make sure we've got this working. where we pause the video. 